Governor DeSantis specifically addressed the state's assisted living facilities and nursing homes today, where some of our most fragile Floridians call home. And on your side, Pinellas Bureau reporter Chip Osowski continues our team coverage from one of those facilities in Largo. Chip. And Jen, we want to reinforce that there are no reported cases of coronavirus at this facility or any other in Pinellas County. That being said, healthcare professionals in our area are in ready mode. They're the facilities that cater to the elderly and those with weakened immune systems. That's why they're now on the governor's radar. To ensure that our assisted living facilities and nursing homes are taking adequate precautions, particularly those who will be um, uh, have entry to those. If you look at how this uh, virus has unfolded, folks who are middle-aged, younger, healthy, tend to weather it fine. But as we learned in Washington state, those who live at these facilities are often the most vulnerable. Four new coronavirus cases linked to a possible outbreak at Life Care Nursing Facility in Kirkland, Washington. That's the same facility where two other cases were previously reported. One of the four patients, a man in his 70s, died from the virus. That has local facilities on high alert. Obviously, right now, you know, there's a heightened awareness. Um, you know, our resident safety, well being. The health of our staff, their well being, it's all a priority. Kristen so. Knapp with the Florida Healthcare Association says the agency is in close communication with healthcare workers, and that's not all. And then communicating with families and visitors, you know, if you're sick, we ask that you stay home because we care for a very vulnerable population and we want to make sure that we can keep them safe. And that agency is also urging healthcare workers who work with the elderly to stay at home if they are feeling under the weather. Reporting live in Largo, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.